So, Sally Walsh is revisited. Uh, it's Easter weekend 2017 and I am here for four nights, five days. Yeah, I'm great at maths. Uh, so, I'm on the point. I was planning on going back down to Moles or Long and Chuck, but those pegs have already been taken. So, I'm here on the point, as it's called, on the other side of the bank. Uh, and it's Easter weekend, as I've mentioned. So, Thursday is the day. So I'm here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So five days uh, in search of the old elusive Carpus Interruptus. It's blowing a bit of a hooli at the moment. That is clacking around, making a right noise. So I'll put that out of the way. And probably the wind is blowing through the microphone there. So four nights, five days, on the point. There's cats, there's carp. And of course, there's those uh, snotters, okay, and plenty of them, yeah. Uh, so, uh, more of a chance we're after the cat, but if we get a cat, it's a bonus. If we get a snotter, not too bad. They usually around about five pound mark, are they, if you watch the other video? Uh, but again, it's a case of uh, placing your rigs out and then a dirty snotter picks it up. But hey ho, shit happens, do not it? Yeah, if they're in the lake, you've got to catch them, okay. Uh, right, so I'm going to get my gear up. Uh, again, the wind is uh, picking up a little bit. So I'll get my gear ready uh, and then uh, that's it. Stay in port for the five days. Double thumbs up. Right, so I've chucked my bivvy up first uh, and got my little workstation table everything up because it's a bit windy out there rather than stick all my rigs on the rods get them out and then put the bivvy up i thought i'd do it in a little bit of comfort so a little bit of comfort it is uh of course uh sally walsh's dam is a lead core ban so of course it is the uh, tungsten rig tube again yep the old uh, funny bear asses this time i've got a three ounce one of my flat pairs in I don't know what you want to call it, shitty brown. Quarter boom, 25 pound, on the other end is the little hinge, which sits up like that, because it's quite weedy. And on I've got there is one of those uh, Terry Earns the Grave, which is basically monster crab, uh, pop-up, and topped with a solar squid and octopus pop-up. So it's got a bit of a fishy smell going on there, crab and squid and octopus. Uh, hopefully the two pop-ups will keep the bream away, probably not, uh, but uh, more inviting to the old cats, uh, cats and carp, because the cats are in there, smell a bit of fish, they might have that, because I know they've been caught on pop-ups, and that's what they usually get caught on here, is pop-ups, uh, cell pop-ups, or pineapple pop-ups, I think, uh, but either way, there's a little bit of fishy going on there, so that's ring on number one, which is right-hand rod, I'm going to uh, stick that out now with the bait bolt, uh, a few freebies over the top, some of my uh, my homemade uh, particles, which is corn and hemp, soaked in uh, vanilla essence, Dr. Oteki, all singing, all dancing, whatever his name is, vanilla essence for cake baking. Uh, and I've also put some solar candy shot in there to give it a little bit more of a sweet flavour. So that's been soaking in that, and of course I've poured it over the top once I boil it, because otherwise... Uh, you put it in before you boil it because it's, uh, it's, it's basically chemicals, isn't it? The uh, 
vanilla essence, it boils it all away. So I soak it in it, boil it, and then I put a load more in on the top to soak in that. Uh, before I dump it in the water, after a big fat carpus interruptus. That's the plan, double thumbs up. Yeah, five day blanking session. You know it makes sense. I was on the nutcracker. Bit of that though, isn't it? I have a bream. A dirty, filthy bream. had a belting run off a lump of weed. <sighs> yeah, bollocks. There we have it. Snotter number one. <sighs> it's not fantastic. Oh, it's got leeches on it. Dirty little worms. Yeah. Parasites. Dirty parasites. No, it's not even two pound that. It's not a... I'm not waiting that 
one. No chance. Right. That's night one, but one done. One snotter, no beeps during the night, but they were recast back out, single up baits. They were just bang back out when they had those uh, had those two takes, so they've not gone out in a bait boat and there's no bait round them. Just the middle rod is still out there. That's not had a peep on it. That went out with the bait boat. Anyway, it's Friday morning, half eight. I thought I'd get up because I needed a piss. So you have to get up, otherwise you get a wet bag. Ah, put the kettle on, then I'm going to brush my teeth, then I'm going to knock some rigs up, reel in, switch over, bait bolt and back out again. One little bream. Turdtastic. <laughs> tips, tricks and handy hints. Wouldn't have screaming delkums with tips, tricks and handy hints, or without the tips, tricks and handy hints. Uh, I've not done for the last couple of uh, videos, have I? Anyway. There we go, neoprene, camouflage, all singing, all dancing, a you can't whack it, pencil case, two quid from the range. In there I have marker floats and my toothbrush and toothpaste. I might get two actually, so I can separate them. Keep them both camo, so I have to open both of them to find out what's in what. You know what it is. So, time to brush Peggy's, but they all fall out again. Right, no fish, some tips, tricks, and the hints. Right, what I bought myself yeah, was a folding handle frying pan. Handle fold, I'm not going to fold it because that's just up. Because I've just been cooking eggy bread in it. Okay, and my breakfast. So, loads of room to get two bits of eggy bread and keep your bacon warm at the same time. Okay, tenner from IKEA. Okay, it's got a folding handle so it's easily stored. And you can get two bits of eggy bread. Fry your bacon. Yeah. Stick the bacon to one side to keep it warm. It's not over the ring, but it keeps it warm. Put your eggy bread in and you can have a fantastic breakfast like this. All singing, all dancing. Double thumbs up. Tips, tricks, and the ends. Get on it, lads. IKEA, 9.99. I was doing a film, lads. I thought you'd go past it. <laughs> It's Paul and Chris. Yeah, didn't even say hello on the way past. Miserable pair of bastards. <laughs> Bacon on Iggy bread. You know, it makes sense. A little bit of Houses of Parliament. Proper carpet scoff that, lads. Not to be sniffed that.
old girl. I thought that was a carp then. Unfortunately, it's a snotter. Well nailed in the top lip. Not really have to get him pinned in the top lip. That's six pound on the money. Six pound brain, woohoo! Bag of the onion bag, can you not knock it? You know it makes sense, what a load of bollocks. Six pound bream, here for the carp and the cats, but I've got a snotter again. Can you not knock it? Six pound bream, yeah. Not uh, not the chosen quarry, but it's a fish all the same. Six pound, I don't suppose that's too bad. Right, I've rigged up some uh, new rigs for tonight. I thought I'd have a bash on the old pop ups. So I've knocked up a little rig there with a uh, bait screw on. Long shank hook, size 6, bait screws with some little dashy rig up, cog stops there and they're going to be popped up off the bottom tonight with a single pop up, probably about, I don't know, 16, 18 mil or something. Yeah, let's see if we can get some more bream. Uh, fantastic, right, that's been out there all day, I like that one. Uh, still got two in, it's about uh, 4 o'clock on Good Friday. Well, it's a first decent fish, I suppose, if you look at it in that sense. Uh, apart from that little snotter last night, but they're the new ones that have been put in. Those little ones. The old school big girls, the original bream, they're the big ones, the five pounders plus. Yeah, the little ones we're getting are the new stock. But hey, always a fish is a fish. That was a pretty good screaming delkin that, to be honest. That went tearing off. I thought that was a carp because usually the bream takes here, they're very finicky, couple of beeps stop, couple of beeps stop, three beeps stop, one beep stop, uh, but that was uh, that was almost a one toner till it stopped and then went again, and I thought that's when I knew it was a bream. But it's five o'clock on Good Friday, uh, that's it, that one's in, I'm going to rig that one back up, get the other two in, uh, put them pop-up rigs on for tonight and bang them out, and see if we can get Wiley Old Carp or Catfish Interruptus, yeah. <laughs> Back ski net ski. So, pop ups it is tonight. And there's the rig. So it's a long shank hook. That's a fox uh, armor point. Bit of rig putty round, a bit of a uh, lead out, a lead core. Taken out, wrapped round the braid. And that stops the, uh, the putty sliding up and down. That's on me, uh, 
one of my favourite braids this actually, it's, uh, it's the sole lead uh, contoured unleaded, £25, I love this stuff, uh, it's nice and supple, it's heavy so it sinks like a brick, yeah, and it's black, I do like black, yeah. and there we go, rig for this evening, can't remember what that pop up is, I've just found it in a pot, it's a washed out one anyway, I think I got it off uh, Ginger Hawkins in France. <sighs> but either way, I might get a bit of goo on that and uh, stick that out. And the other one, I've already put one out. I've got Nash Scopex on there that's been soaking in real squid oil uh, for about six months. Yeah, it was a pop up, but it sinks now. It's got that much oil in it, so it's sat up on the bottom like that, that one on top of the hook, as opposed to these, which are pop ups. And again, I'll just put a bit of lead core on there. Sorry, a bit of lead core. A bit of a uh, bit of lead out of which I save. Out of my lead core, when you strip it out of the ends to splice it, save it. And then you can wrap little bits around your blade, braid, yeah, and then fix your lead putty to it, and it just stops it sliding up and down the braid, which can be a pain in the shit box. And that's the other one. pop-up dumbbell pineapple yep and that's a funny badass one no it's not it's mainline yep but he uses mainline doesn't he so I keep thinking it's cord or it's not it's mainline completely different company uh, right then Bob's your teapot right let's get the other two in whack them out for tonight let's see if we can get a cap or a cat because they do like pineapple pop-ups and they do like cell pop-ups the old catfish in this lake that's what I've heard through radio Baghdad well, there's no happening since that frame. I've been sat there for about two hours playing with rigs. I've tied Ronnie rigs, I've tried blowback rigs, I've tied all sorts of rigs. Uh, out of boredom, really. Uh, but, hey-ho, that's fishing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so, the time is now. It's half seven. Uh, is it Friday? I can't remember. Yeah, it's Friday. It's uh, half seven on Good Friday. And that's it, just the bream. Chris on the other banks had an eel. Yeah. <laughs> a dirty eel. He was out after the cats, but the eels have uh, pitched up instead. I took that. And uh, I'm having a game of football manager. That's a bit of me. Football manager. I've got my fancy lights on from. Uh, from Phil, from mentally ill Phil. Put pen on it. Light on, light off, light on, light off. Remote control, back of the onion bag. Right, I'm gonna have some dinner in a minute, and I feel a turtle Z coming on. So I might have to uh, go in my new mobile toilet. More on that later. Well, it's typical. Uh, Bank holiday weekend weather, isn't it? Pissing down. It's been pissing down. It's been blowing a hoolie. Uh, sun hasn't come out yet, but when it does, I might go outside and use my new toilet. Uh, otherwise, I'll be uh, taking a dump in the rain. I've put my waterproofs on. <laughs>
and squid oil. Six pound ten. Six pound ten ounce. Six pound ten ounce. It's not a little bream are getting bigger, aren't they? But the uh, car aren't making an appearance. And now the cats. Oh, poor, poor sink of snotter. What time is it? It is 10 to 4 in the morning. So let's see what quarter to 4. Woken up by a snotter. £6, 10 ounces. So that's not bad, nearly £7 uh, bream. And that was on. That was on that. Nice Scopex. <laughs> if you can see that. I can't really see it. Nash Scopex uh, airball pop up 15mm, but it's soaked in squid oil and peeler crab oil. And that was on that uh, long shank hook. Well nailed him. Because it's on a bait screw, what I can do, of course I can just undo that one and put a new one on. Off with the old, on with the new. But that's been soaking for months so that stinks still. Put a fresh one on. Hands are a bit cold now because of that bloody water. But the thing is, that air ball pop up. This is lying flat on the deck. It's not a. Uh, it's not popped up, even though it's an airball pop up. It's been soaking in that oil that long. It's turned them into bottom baits. There we have it. Oh, I think pen and inks that does. Right, I'm not using the bait bowler this time of night. I'm just going to crack that one out on the uh, uh, old school casting. <laughs> so bang that one back out and then uh, put that to bed. I'll tell you what, it's a bit more than windy today. Oh, I've had a lie in after that, uh, after that snotter. Now, now else, that wind's got up. And it's tearing across the lake, and I'm on the far bank, it's blowing in my face. So, I'm having my breakfast, I'm having a brew, and then I'm going to get in my scratcher. I'm going to get in there, bivy doors down, no wind coming in, and I'm going to have a day of telly. That's a little bit of me, that is, yeah? Super. But I'm having my bacon and eggy bread, and a couple of, uh, a couple of bratties for brekkie. 
but I tried to put the uh, tried to put the bivvies on at an angle so it didn't blow right in the door. But of course, that all depends on which way the fucking wind's blowing, isn't it? Yeah. And today it's coming across at diagonally, but it is getting in the bivvy, and it was blowing in my face to wake me up. I'm reeling them in a recast. Well, not recast, take them out with a bait ball, but it's going to hammer the battery against uh, this wind. But either way, I'm not leaving them out any longer. They've been out a good 12 hours plus. Uh, so, you can come, change over, uh, put new rigs on, and back out again. Double thumbs up, guide to fucking windy weather. However, it's come in weed free. A little bit just on the uh, just on the uh, putty there, that is it. So it's clear spots out there. Lovely jubbly. Again, monster crab or the grave. Been out all night that, not touched it. So back to the bottom baits because they don't seem to be working. Chinese last night, them two. That's Chris and Paul, Paul the bailiff, uh, and Chris, one of the lads who regularly fishes here. Uh, they had a Chinese and paid 32 quid for it. They came round this morning moaning all about it. 32 quid for the Chinese? What did you buy the kids off them? What? So, I've got my rigs, uh, they've been dipping overnight. Uh, there was four in there. <laughs> I pulled one out. Oh, it's gone inside. Yeah, they've been dipping overnight in the old nutcracker dip. They'll all be nice and tangled in there, so there's a little bit of untangling to do. But again, they're all white tip nutcracker uh, pop ups, half a pop up on the barrels. All nicely fandangled, tangled. They're all at Stoke on Trent at the moment, so I might have to. I might have to just uh, re-steam them. Right. right, so rig off. Rig on. So I was at three of them out for today. See what they uh, they can bring. And I might actually, because that's one of my dung legs, dung or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, they do take on there. Uh, they do take on uh, the bottom sediment, uh, but they also take on glug and dips. So I'll give them a quick dip as well. Get back on the nutcracker. Smells very mapley, that very maple syrup type uh, aroma. Not liking this wind. Right, so I'm just giving it a little quick dunk. 
in the old uh, nutcracker. Watch me go and drop it because I do things like that. And that'll soak in and give off a bit of a bit of a pong. I'm good at dropping glugs and flavours and stuff like that. I dropped lobster thermidor in the kitchen once in Sweden. Yeah. And uh, took about three years for the smell to disappear. Good old lobster thermidor, you can't knock it. Yeah, throw it all over your kitchen tiles. Let it sink into the carpet and stuff and your mats and smells really nice. Yeah. Flat smell to farts and feet and fish for years. Single beep on the right hand rod. Cheers, Si, for the old, well, the new fruit uh, cocktail in pineapple juice, a British Army a ration pack scoff. When I was in, it was bacon burgers, crunchy rice, brown biscuits. Yeah, clog your arse up, didn't shit for a week. I'm going to try this. Let's have a look. Look at that bad boy, big chunky bits of fruit. All of that cra crap back in my day. Hey, it's not pretty bad, that. Cheers, Si. So massive, fucking 
stay still. The fucking wind's doing me fucking tree in. Three pound one ounce. It's not fantastic. Yeah, look at that. That's just a little bit of halibut shite. Yuck. Halibut. Skinetsky! So, another snotter, another Abramis Brahma on the old uh, nutcracker. It's me bream rig. Oh, 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 oh. That's not wind. That's not wind. That's not wind. Middle rod. Must be feeding time for old uh, Bremus Interruptus. <laughs> go on then, go tear it off. No straight swap over basically, like for like. Out of the glug. There we go. You what? Should have been here five minutes, and she's bugging off and leaving me. Yes. See you, poops. Bye. To Robbie, little toilet paper. Run forest. Should have been here five minutes. Easter Sunday morning, I've had my breakfast, I've had a big halal bacon butty, uh, I've prayed to that bloke who got nailed to a cross, uh, if he did, uh, but everybody else are all in church and hunting Easter eggs and I'm fishing and squashing rabbits and all sorts, uh, so I'm going to change my rigs over, I had nothing at all last night, not even a beep. Not even a snotter got me out of bed. It was absolutely right, said Fred. Now at all. So, I've just had some scoff. I'm having a quick brew. And I made a few rigs up yesterday. I made some... Uh, some fluorocarbons out of the uh, Coder IQ. So, fluor and carbon. Well, semi-stiff because it is a, this is a supple fluorocarbon. So, I'm going to stick three of them on with bottom baits with the old bait screws so I'll try that so again it's a uh, it's quite a supple floral carbon but again it is a bit of a stiff link so it will should kick it out well that's the plan and then on there just a bait screw you can see that if it'll focus, probably won't. But either way, I'm going to stick three of them on today. Have a go. Fifteen pound IQ. Yeah. Uh, I haven't decided what bottom baits I'm going to put on yet. Uh, these are Nash Airball pop-ups. 
it but they sink why they sink because they've been soaking in squid and peel of crab oil and that's not your your run of the mill uh, a chemical compound makeup uh, bait flavoring it's actually squid oil it's real squid oil it's real peel of crab oil so it's not a chemical uh, flavoring they've been soaking in and they've soaked into them airball pop-ups uh, which is super buoyant and of course they sink now because they've got that much uh, oil in them so I might put one of them on one and then I'll have to think about what I'm putting on the other I'll have to have a mooch through my uh, bag I've got my uh, noddy hat on as you can see because it's uh, it's noddy time <laughs> it's fucking noddy weather anyway it's been blowing it uli over here for the last three days um, there's no carp being out at all. Paul lost uh, a big common. wasn't the big common, but it was a big common. Uh, it had shoulders. Like that. Yeah. He lost that of the neck, hook pull. There's been a couple of eels out. There's been no cats out. The lads that have been fishing for the catfish have had eels instead. I've had a load of bream. They've had a load of bream. The other lads down the other end have had a load of bream. And it's been a, it's been a bream-a-thon. Yeah, it's been a bream-a-thon for Easter weekend. So no carp out yet. But I'm here till tomorrow, slow pack up tomorrow, but we've still got one night left and hopefully uh, things will turn around and we can get a carp on the bank. It'll be the first one uh, out of Sally Walsh's this year that's not been called by Paul the Bailiff. And apparently the, uh, the little competition or the little, um, the little uh, prize of 24 hours free fishing is still open because of course uh, Paul's not taking that prize because he's the bailiff if you get the big common he'll buy you a five pound a five pound five kilos of uh, bait and there's a few choices you've got it's quality bait as well it's not your shite so he's not going to get you a load of that crane stuff from Aldi and give you five kilos of that it's uh, it's the likes of neutral baits or sticky baits and things like that but I can't remember you'd have to speak to Paul about that but either way you get the big common five kilos of free bait quality stuff first person to catch a carp apart from Paul yep yeah, uh, gets 24 hours free fishing on Sally Walsh's dam so there we go Rods are going to get in, I'm going to re-rig, in fact I might go to the TARDIS for a tactical unload in the meantime, stay pooing in my uh, my portable, portable toilet I've got knocked up there, uh, might have a look at that in a minute actually, tips, tricks and handy hints, you get caught short or you've got the ballroom blitz, yeah, Sonny, yeah, cheers for that one, Sonny, up in, uh, where are you, yeah, Scotland, oh that was Ireland, wasn't it, what do we want, Northern Ireland accents, where do we want them? Nay! <laughs> right, I'm fucking off, I've had enough. Well, I've done, I've stuck a, uh... oh! I've stuck a pop-up on there, but I had a funny feeling these pop-ups, which are the cell pop-ups, but I've been soaking them in almond goo for a good six months. So I thought, I'll be lost the buoyancy, I'll stick one on, and I'll test it. And the hook counterbalances the pop-up there. So I've just tested that in the margins there, and it sits like that. Perfectly off the bottom, so it's critically balanced. Yeah, quick sucker, uh, quick sucker, that is going to go on your carp's gob. So I'm going to stick three of those on, onto that little rig for today and see how that fares up okay again these are uh, I think that one actually might be a wafter there's pop-ups and wafters in there but again they're covered in almond goo so it's quite difficult to tell the difference the only way to do it is by testing them of course in the margins there so I've stick, stuck ah and I know what they are they sell wafters, and that's why the hook has uh, has critically balanced them. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put three of them on. Almond goo, sell wafters over my uh, corn, hemp and halibut pellets uh, in the bait belt and see if that can uh, tempt old wily carp. Because as it happens, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're on Sunday, day four, no carp have been out of this lake at all. Yep. None, not one. Plenty of bream, few eels, 
No carp. But you can't catch carp at Alton Towers, can you? Far too many humanoids there for my liking. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Humans. Ooh. Right, so I've just tested these three. And... The hook does keep them uh, pinned to the deck, so critically balanced. Those uh, those wafters have popped up, uh, but the hook again is uh, is uh, holding them down. So let's see if that works today. We can only try, can't we? Where's all these big cap? You promised me, Paul. <laughs> You're down in yeah? here, mate. Am I on wrong side of the fence? <laughs> Have I? Oh, hooks? What are them? I've been tying them on with reef knots. Half a loaf of bread. Oh, what's that, mate? What's that? Who's that? Who's that? Nutibait. Oh, Nutibait. Oh, that's where I'm going wrong, mate. I'm using Warburton's. <laughs> oh, they're out here somewhere. Just got to get them troughing. I did lose one, you know. <laughs> I know, I've already told everybody about that. Big shoulders come and you lost at the net. Mm. Must have been a blunt hook, mate. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, I didn't like that Nutribase and spat it out. <laughs> it was rubbery. <laughs> Spotted me. Eyes like a shit house rat, as Paul. Eyes like a shit house rat. There's somebody mooching in my swim. Who's that swim moocher? Looks like Randolph Fiennes with the Arctic gear on. He smashed your poopy! Your poopoo! <laughs> I've got a visitor. I like how you're Crumble. in there. Can we don't grow up? Crumble. We don't grow up. We don't grow We grow down. I know. That's what Adam was doing. It. Yeah. Crumble. So we've got a visitor. Carl. Carl's a carp fisherman and he's seen my stupid videos. He put down <laughs> say hello today. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for somebody to turn up with a fucking BFK that don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then there's an all singing, all dancing. Proper fucking tear up, mate. <laughs> okay, mate, for fucking shootout, right? A proper shootout with some proper men. You can put that on your video. <laughs> what are you doing in there, love? I've got loads of visitors today. I've got my little shipoopy in there nicking all my tins of tuna because she's on a diet. Tuna, There's yeah. no tea, love. Yeah, Do you want some salad cream? That's okay. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> you can legend. There's a robin on my pooing station. Examining your work. It is. <laughs> I've got a bag hiding behind there. I'm going to weigh it later. Oh, great. In fact, nice. let's weigh it now. Let's weigh my Richard. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Right, so I'm just gonna. I'm just. Gonna, I'm just gonna zero the scales. That'd be brothers for a week. Yeah. Turn that round. Right. No, no, no. On that corner. So here we have a Richard the Third in a bag that was unloaded uh, approximately uh, one and a half days ago. So let's see if it's a new PB. Oh no! 15 ounces! Bad. Bad it's a bad. 15 ounce Richard! That's not a PB anyway. A 15 ounce Thora herd. I oh, don't mind, I'll do another one later. Well, the weather's it. pants. It's honking it down and we decided to have a barbecue because my little ship poopy turned up and I promised her a barbecue. But it's not barbecue weather, is it, my little love? It's not 
Eskimo. <laughs> to come and see Guffer screaming Dalkins and don't want to be here. It's white and horrible. How many women would do this? How many women would do this? Shut up, you tad. <laughs> so we're having steaks. <laughs> we're having steaks in the Rod Hutchinson cookhouse. And ooh, kebabs. Yes, very nice. <laughs> You're wrong. And so we're having some kebabs there. Don't want to burn them, so I've wrapped them in foil. Right, fantastic. You know it makes sense. Yes! This is what skunks do! They wash the pots! So, Screaming Delkins tells me. You're pot washing skunk, yeah? Yes! <laughs> Right, sit rep. Sit rep, if you can call it a sit rep, because there is no situation. The only situation that's going on at the moment is it's pissing down again. Right, so it is Easter Sunday, or Sunday, whatever you want to call it, and I've not even had a snotter for over 24 hours. Uh, I've had them, uh, I've had them wafters glugged in goo out all day not even had a peep on them uh, well apart from the landing mallard that went over my rod ripped it off the rod out of the snag ears right across my pod and into the water much to the amusement of my little ship Poopy, who was sat here at the time thinking I'd had a fish if you caught one no and it just looked like a bomb had gone off underneath my pod apart from that out so it is Sunday night and it's about six o'clock so it's uh it's the last 24 hours so to speak now and hopefully we can bag one but again it is a very hard water there's no carp being out all weekend and the only carp that I've been out this year I've felt at bailiff but he lost the common uh, a nice common I don't think it was the big common but it was a nice common uh, at the net, hook pulp, as I've mentioned, uh, but as it stands, just them brain. Hopefully, get one in the middle of the night. Yeah, just to top the weekend off. Either way, enjoyed myself. That's what it's all about, isn't it? My little shapoopy came up today. We had a barbecue in the rain. We sat here watching a little bit of car share on the old uh, dog and bone, and uh, she still didn't like fishing, so she went home again. <laughs> <laughs> asking me why I do this well I do it because I enjoy it it's as simple as that it's as simple as that so tips tricks and the ints yeah got to do a tips tricks and the ints as I promised the portable carp fishing bog your shitter your toilet whatever you want to call it I've got one on wheels I've got one on wheels Ta -da! there we go all singing, all dancing, you can't whack it, stick your Richards in that. So, there you have it. Time for the crap, time for the Richard, but you can't quite make it to the toilet because you don't want to bring your rods in. So, it's, oh, I'm turtling, I'm turtling, turtling quick, pants down. Ha ha, got your thermals on. Squawing over. Squeeze out the fudge draken. Wipe your clay pipe. Bush, bosh, bosh. Tie it up, stick it to one side. Pull your kecks up. No one's none the wiser. Anyway. Here's one I made earlier. Get a bit foisty now in there, I think. Tip tricks and the ints. If it's raining, cover back up, all ready to go, 
when you need to squeeze out that big fat fudge dragon. There you go. Fantastic. Never need to leave your rods again. Well, it's absolutely honking it down, as you can probably hear. Ten o'clock, even the bream have gone to sleep. I've not had a peep on them rods for a good 24 hours. Easy. Yep. So even the bream have uh, packed up and gone home by the looks of it. But hey -o. five o'clock tomorrow afternoon, that'll be it. But... There we go. Bit bright, that isn't it? Yeah. That's it. Going to bed very shortly, but I think I want to uh, a lot of crap on YouTube before I do. And hopefully, in the middle of the night, we'll have a screaming one toner. Yeah. But we'll see, eh? Easter Monday and I've not had a peep on them rods all night not even a dirty snotter so nothing even the bream have fucked off they've not been playing for oh two days now So, Easter Monday, last day, 17th of April, it's my sister's birthday so I'll have to give her a, a ring. Get up, oh. get my rods in, re-rigged them, put them out for the very last time, and then a slow pack up. I haven't changed my shorts. I haven't changed my socks, I've just got a good whiff there, the old mosque type smell came wafting up out of my sleeping bag there, just got a good gust of that, oh yeah, smells like engine brackets piss pot, not a beep, I've been doubting myself to whether my alarms are turned on but I know they are because I double checked them last night before I went to bed. Not a peep. So, time to get me fat, sweaty, hairy ass out of my fart sack. Uh, I think I'll put a brew on first. I'll put a kettle on first and I can sit there and just make some nice little cheeky rigs uh, to recast out with. While I'm having a nice brew with my Delkins mug that Big Cap Camo Carl, the cluster, uh, colostomy bag. Calamity Carl, whatever his name is, I can't remember it. He's got that many names he makes up for himself. I lose track. So, I'll have a brew. Get three rigs knocked up. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Change over, change over, change over. Bait boat out, bait boat out, bait boat out. Boom, dump the lot. Leave them for the day while I have my little slow pack up. Fantastic. So let's hope if we can bag a carp. For the close of play today. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, Easter Bunny's gonna get shot in the face. I'm gonna go around with a big hammer and smash all kids' Easter eggs up in a big rage. <laughs> smash, 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 smash. Stop, 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 stop these, stop, stop the Easter eggs. Bastards. Kettle's on, so there's the morale booster. We had a barbecue yesterday, me and my little chip poopy. So we've got leftovers, so that's breakfast. And 
there we have it. Waste not, want not. A nice chicken kebab. Oh no, this is a vegetarian one because we ran out of chicken on this last one. So, vegetarian kebab. Um, nicely marinated. for a while. Oh! I got a load of water, it's been pissing it down all night. Put kebab juice all over my fat face. And Sally Walsh's damn carp are very elusive creatures. They don't come out easily. They do not give themselves up very easily whatsoever. Day five, not a sniff, but at the end of the day you can't catch him if you don't try. So I'll just come back and have another go if I don't get one this week. End. I'll grab a knife bro. Cheers Carl, my old pal. Not that you'll watch this video mate because you're not in it, but I'm using your mug mate. Alright. That bastard. Right, I'll have a little bit. 39p. 39p on bargains, guys and girls. 39p? Pound in Morrison's. So, three rigs out, get them baited up, rods in, change over, whack them back out, and then uh, see if we can nab one on the last day. I guess. Hmm. I think I'll go for them. I'll have a bash with them. Or shall I have a bash with them? I go for the long shanks. Because hmm. there's clear spots out there, so I'm not I only use pop ups just as a, just to try it. But I'm on clear spots because I'm not bringing any weed in like I did the other week where it was just caked in the stuff when it came in. Yeah, so I didn't know if I was dumping it away, but I'm, I'm, I'm on clear spots all the time here. Up this end of the lake so I can fish bottom baits or just sat up vertical, so to speak. So I'll have a go at that. And then get them back out. Sit back and wait. I think I might just go and fish a runs water. I'll probably blank on there as well. I won't bother because I just met myself like a right national front when I go on a runs water and blank. It's no worse than that. Look at right wanker. It's like Carl does when he goes fishing. He looks a right wanker. Love you, Carl. <laughs> Put an Ibis vest on Scarecrow now. <laughs> He's got a builder's ass and all. Hey, up, big swans. It's my lake, he says.
hardly any weed on that. But it didn't work. Nope, I would leave them out 24 hours. Who's that? Sally Walsh mooching about in the woods again. If you don't know who Sally Walsh is, Google her. The spirit of Sally Walsh. Didn't work. Chlorocarbon. Not even having that either. Having the breather, haven't it? Unbelievable. Well, there we have it. Rig for today. 18mm nutcracker barrel, bing lugged, very hard, bait screw. Quarter end trap. 3 ounce flat pair. All three rods. That's a bottom bait, of course, so it's going to sit like that. Let's see if we can nab one. That's it, half past four, Monday, start pack up, go home. I packed everything away, just the rods left to bring in. That's it, another cartless session. Uh, five days, four nights, but it's an hard water, it's an hard water anyway. So, uh, never mind, go home, plan the next session which more than likely will be May, the week in France down at Edisage. That's coming very shortly. So hopefully there's going to be bag loads of carp, yeah, a few Judy Dench, and lots of banter with the lads, of course. Yeah. Right, so get this little lot away, and then about uh, two hours to get on my gear over to the car. Two barrel loads. And a bag of shite. Bag of shite. So that's it again. Five days on Sally Walsh's. No carp, zero, zilch, bream. That is it. So back to work. And then uh, the next trip, I think, is going to be France. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get out on now until 19th of May. That's it. I might get out, I might not, but either way. That's it for this weekend. Take your shit home. 15 ounce, not a PB.
but it was a good fight. Ha! Turn, Tostic! Turn out, turn!